Okay, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Mr. Dan. Uh, today, uh, my wife and my daughter, they, they did their little uh, race over the bridge, the Sunshine Skyway. They did really well. <laughs> Applause. Thank you, thank you. Anyhow, while they were gone, I was looking up recipes from, uh, for Ukrainian dishes, and I happened to find a tasty Ukrainian mushroom soup. So we're going to make that. It's not too many ingredients. But I really believe it's going to be tasty because everything that I'm, I've got prepped for it, I like it. I think you will too. So without further ado, let's get to the recipe. Boom, boom. <laughs> okay, so here we have a pot here. I, I cooked my mushrooms already to save a little time on the video. Uh, just, I just got some white mushrooms. You can use any kind of mushrooms you want with this. <clears throat> it's eight ounces of mushrooms and you saute them till they're done to your liking okay here I got a little olive oil I'm going to use when I toast my I mean saute my onions and carrots here I have a bowl where I'm going to put those onions and carrots in when they're done sauteing back there I've got a head of garlic or partial head I keep all my peels from my onions carrots whatever and I keep them in a bag and I make my veggie uh, broth here I got one carrot and one onion, small diced. There's my said mushrooms I cooked. Here I got two uh, russet potatoes that I chopped up, made them real small chop. Here I have a cup of half and half. Here I have four cups <coughs> of my homemade chicken broth. You guys can use whatever you want. Store bought's fine, it doesn't matter. But four cups, you can use chicken broth or veg veggie stock, veggie broth. Here I got four cloves of garlic hacked up. Here's my thyme. We're going to get a teaspoon of that. And here <clears throat> this is my mushrooms. I bought way too many mushrooms the other day. So this recipe came in handy. Use some of the mushrooms. All right, let's get to it. Okay, got my pot up to temp. And uh, the reason I, I picked this size pot, it's probably bigger than I need, but I wanted to make sure I had enough room. Because <laughs> uh, not only that, but we're going to be pureeing this anyhow. We're going to take the stick blender to this mess. Okay, so what I'm do here is put in my carrots and my onion, and we're just going to sauté those until they get a little soft. Then we're going to take and start adding the other ingredients after that. This should take a couple of minutes, so uh, we'll let this simmer, uh, cook, and you'll be right back. Okay, now the. Uh, Onion and the carrots are a little bit soft. They're not going crazy yet, but I'm not too worried about it because we still got to cook it more and we're going to cook it in some broth. So now, what I'm doing, got the four cloves of garlic in there. I chopped those up real small, and I'm glad this recipe made me happy because I like garlic. <laughs> I like mushrooms. I like carrots and onion. I like it all, so it's going to be good. Okay, so, man, can you smell that, fans? Oh, that's, that's the garlic. <laughs> All right, a little brown piece you might see down there. That's a leftover mushroom piece that because uh, I cooked the mushrooms here first, then rinse it out. Okay, <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my potatoes. Let me drain this water off them. <clears throat> I rinsed these twice now. Uh, each time the water was a little cloudy from the starch, so <clears throat> we made that. So we'll throw these in. Stir these around a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but this here smells good so far. Let me hit it with a little salt and pepper. Because, <clears throat> you know, those are potatoes. They're kind of bland. Yeah, but my uh, wife and my daughter, they did the, uh, what was it, a 10K run, I think it was, 10K challenge over the Sunshine Skyway. Now, for you, those of you who've never been there, that thing is sky high. Get it? Why they call it the Skyway. But yes, it really is high, and it makes a lot of people nervous driving over there. I, I, I went over it twice by accident, <laughs> and uh, yes, it was, uh, it was way up there. Okay, and then one time we took a cruise, and I believe the cruise ship <clears throat> went under that bridge. Okay, so now we're putting in our broth. This is my homemade uh, chicken. I did the chicken and homemade veggie broth. That's that bag over there that I showed you when uh, 
We first came on with all my veggie pieces parts in there. I saved those and that's how I make my veggie stock. Or vegetable broth, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so now we're going to bring this up to a boil and we're going to let it cook for about, or bring it up to a boil, then I'll drop it and let it cook for about 10 minutes. And while we're waiting, I'll let you guys take a break, go potty, or whatever you got to do. Okay, potatoes are just about there. We want to get those as soft as possible. So I just threw, took about three quarters of the mushrooms that I had cooked up. And I threw those in. Now for my uh, thyme, I'm putting a teaspoon of ground thyme in here. It's a lot of thyme. But if you got the thyme, we got the recipe. <laughs> okay, you're funny. All right. So now we're just going to give this a little stir around, mix it. But I like thyme. Thyme is okay. Then, my friends, now it's time to make a little noise. But that looks nice. Can you see inside that pan? Whoa! So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take my little whizzy stick bender blender here. going to puree this nice. Hopefully it comes out a little thicker than this is. Yeah, Let me let you guys take a break. Okay, pretty much finished pureeing. This is what we got. You can puree it more than that. <clears throat> I might do a little bit more when I put my heavy cream in there. I mean my half and half. So I just had camera girl come taste test a little bit. She said it needs salt. So now what we're going to do is put our one cup of half and half or milk, whatever you want. You can put heavy cream in here if you really want to have a heavy cream dish. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is just, since I got the stick blender out, we'll just <clears throat> blend all these things together, huh? Okay, look at that soup. Ooh. Is it soup yet? <clears throat> then we're going to take a taste test. Oh, man. <laughs> this is a really good soup. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, let me bowl some of this up. Now, don't think I forgot my other mushrooms. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I think this soup came out really, really well. So what I'm going to do... Look at that, huh? That's a nice little cream of mushroom, as you can see. I don't have any fresh uh, parsley, so... I'm just going to sprinkle some uh, little bit of green on here and because I want people to know what kind of soup this is, I, I diced up some of the mushrooms I had left and we're just going to plop those and I thought they would float a little bit but they're not really floating. <laughs> so okay, I put it on the side of the dish, we let them know what's in there, mushrooms. <laughs> okay, Penny's probably going to come, what are you doing? I don't know. All right, so there you go, guys. Let me let this cool a bit, and we'll meet you at the taste test table. That's why I got a camera girl, and you guys don't. Look what she done to my dish. It looks so nice. We'll meet you at the table. Okay, guys, so here we are at the taste test table. Little Elmo likes it. Mm. I like it. <laughs> 
Well, anyway, this is a tasty Ukrainian mushroom soup. Hmm. Now, if you don't like mushrooms, you probably ain't gonna like this. But I like mushrooms. I like mushroom soup. And really, that was just a few ingredients that came together pretty nice. Didn't season it up too much. Now, you can season it with whatever you like. I want to put spinach in here, I think. <clears throat> but anyway, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Delicious. Share with your friends. If you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Hit the subscribe button. When you do, a little notification bell will pop down. You hit that. And that'll notify you each and every time we come up with another video. <clears throat> There's a little arrow down box below the video. You hit that. That will pop down another down, a box. And you'll, I'll give you a link to Cooking with Mr. Dan Facebook page. A link to my daughter's artwork site page. And a complete list of the ingredients that we use to make this wonderful, wonderful dish. So, my friends, stay hungry. And when you are, come back. And we will give you another delicious dish just like this. This is Mr. Dan saying stay safe, stay away from COVID, and go Ukraine.